Want to change a plain glass bevel into a colored bevel? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to do that, and I'm going to show you that right now. Okay, I've got everything ready. I've got my Pebio Vitra 160 paints for painting onto glass surfaces, and I'm going to be painting onto these bevels. And I've got a rectangular here, I've got a diamond one here, and I've also got a round one here, which has got texture on the other side, which will be quite good. Now, once these are painted, we need to let them dry for 24 hours, and then they go into an oven to, um, to be baked and that goes in the oven for about uh, 45 minutes and what that does is it tends to cure them to the point where they become dishwasher resistant on the top shelf these these are non-toxic now i have cleaned these bevels with uh, isopropanol which is this one here and that doesn't leave any residues behind there are some cleaners that people use and it tends to leave a residue with isopropanol uh, which is found in quite a number of hand sanitizers, it doesn't leave any residue. Okay, I've pre-mixed these because you need to give them a stir, let them sit for about five or 10 minutes and then you can use them because what we're trying to do here is avoid getting uh, air bubbles onto these painted surfaces. Now, once these are painted, there's different ways of doing this. Uh, you can actually put a lot of paint on and you can actually put um, layers of paint on to build up uh, how much uh, you want on there so that when, they're, when you've got the, uh, them up in a window, you can uh, have them where they're quite intense in color or you can have them where they're just a light color. But baking them will also bring out some uh, coloring as well. So let's get into it. Okay, I'm gonna be painting this one first. So what color will we do? I will do this one, which is a purple. And there is a thinner available uh, for these as well. And it's a Pabio thinner. So if you want, want it to be thinner, uh, then, and, and you don't want uh, kind of like a really heavy coating, then that you could use without a problem. So what we don't want is air bubbles, and we're really trying to avoid getting brush strokes in it. And I have a feeling that's gonna be quite difficult, trying to avoid the brush strokes, but look, this is not going to be a work of art anyway. So I'm just going to put another little bit on that. And then I'm going to leave these and then put another coat on them in about 30 minutes time. But I'll do that off camera because it's just going to be the same as this. Okay, so that's that one done. Oops. There you go, that's better. Okay, that's that one done. Now I'm going to do the others and I will use Movie Magic on those because I'm sure you don't have to watch me do the other three because it's going to be basically the same. So we'll come back when, when I have done them. Okay, these have had one coat on them. I put them on a piece of white board so that you could uh, see the colors. And I'm going to apply two more coats, but with 30 minutes apart. And then what I'll do is I'll leave them dry for 24 hours and then tomorrow, I'll bake them in the oven. So anyway, uh, we'll see how these go with a couple more coats and uh, we'll see you back here tomorrow uh, ready to bake in the oven. All right, I have my bevels here. I have the purple one, the blue one, and the red one. And you can't really see how well they've come up because you need the light source behind them. Now, you can create some really good effects with these. These will probably have brush strokes in them, but if you didn't want brush strokes in them, then what you could do is get one of those um, airbrushes, those small airbrushes, and you could just uh, airbrush it onto the actual uh, bevel or uh, just plain glass, and that would ensure that you have a very nice flat uh, coat on it. Now, you can also get a sponge, and you can uh, dab that into the PBO Vitro 160 glass paints and then you can then dab that onto uh, just ordinary uh, glass and that will create some effects. But anyway, uh, there's a, a couple of ideas. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop these in the oven. This oven I've had for a few years now. Oh, I need to take them off the wood. That would help. Put them in there. And I have a thermometer in here just to uh, gauge the temperature. But to be quite honest, this, this oven is very, very uh, is very, very accurate. So I don't really need that in there, but I do use it as, 
an insurance thing. So what we need to do is the oven is cold. We need to warm this up. Uh, so we'll put it to, uh, what is it, uh, 40 minutes at 160. And then after 160, you let it all cool down and then you then remove them. So you have to warm them up with the oven and then you let it cool down with the oven as well. So they're in there, we'll put it to 160 and we'll put it to 40 minutes, it's at 160, so we'll put it to 40 minutes and then this will turn off and shut down and I'll remove that because you don't want anything like timber on top of it. And then we'll come back and uh, take them out of the oven once it's cooled down and see what they come out like. Here's the end product. I think that they turned out really great and I love the intensity of the colours. Uh, I'm sorry about the quality of the photograph, but it's very hard to take a photo of a product that's being illuminated from the back. Now, if you're not after the brush stroke look, as I said earlier, you can use a softer artist brush. I used an artist brush that I had around and that was a coarse one, but using a softer one will eliminate uh, most of the brush strokes or pretty well maybe all of the brush strokes. You can also use the Pavio paint thinner as well which will allow the paint to flow uh, better and you can also use an artist airbrush uh, because you'll be spraying the paint on you won't be actually touching the uh, bevel or the actual paint. So there's a few other ways if you weren't looking for the actual paint brush look. I'm sure you'll be able to create some wonderful effects with these paints uh, depending on your application to the bevels or the clear glass. And the purple bevel that's in this uh, photograph, I've actually taken that and I've applied that with some uh, prep multi-use adhesive onto a piece of clear glass as if I'm doing a glass on glass. And it looks really, really good. So anyway, I hope you've taken something away from this video. If you have used these paints or you've used a different brand of paint or you have some uh, tips and tricks, put them down in the comment section on my YouTube channel. I'll be interested in reading them and I'm sure others will. And I will see you in the next video. Enjoy.